Welcome back to another Two Face Reacts. I should have, guys. I know I'm late to the party, but hey, better late than never, right? Bro, I'm sorry. These talks right here is funny as fuck. Shit like this is so funny. I'm so sorry. We know that Biden he stutters a lot. I don't know why he 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 be stumbling. Remember when he was uh walking up to the uh he was walking up on them stairs on the uh I think it was like a private jet on an actual airplane, and then he was slipping and uh, and falling and shit. That shit was funny, bro. I'm sorry, this man just need to uh go to a, like a uh, what's that called an, a nursery home or something. The dude is old. I'm sorry, bro. You, you you just don't need to be no kind of president. I don't care about no politics, so I ain't gonna say too much. For the, you know, uh, community guidelines, purposes, and all, you know, just to protect myself and all that. But yeah. Mm. But we're gonna get into this, so we're gonna get to this. I seen bits and like pieces of them like arguing, like making fun of each other. So I figure it's, it's been, it's gonna be a, a, a good reaction. It's gonna be a very, very good, very good video to watch. So I hope you guys enjoy it. What I'm going to do is fix the tax system. For example, we have a thousand trillionaires in America. I mean, billionaires in America. And what's happening? They're in a situation where they, in fact, pay 8.2 percent in taxes. If they just paid 24 percent, 25 percent, either one of those numbers. I mean, they've Why is he talking about billionaires? It's a problem for billionaires. He ain't talking about the people that's uh that's making ends meet, that's struggling, that's you know at regular jobs. Like, how come he ain't talking about that? To worry about other rich people. Well, I can't even get mad at that because rich people gonna worry about other rich people. Raise five hundred million dollars, billion dollars, I should mm. say, in a ten year period. We'd be able to right wipe out his debt. We'd be able to help make sure that all those things we need to do, child care, elder care, making sure that we continue to strengthen our health care system, making sure He closed his eyes a little bit when he was talking at Loki, he didn't finish his sentence. He low-key almost like he was about to pass out or something. We were able to make <laughs> every almost. single solitary person uh, eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with, with the COVID. Excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with. Uh, Donald Trump is already looking at this man like he's stupid. He's already looking at this man. He's already giving him a side eye. He's, he's when Donald Trump turned his head like that. I swear to God, he's going to roast the shit out of him. Look at Donald Trump's shoulders, bro. He looks scary as fuck. Like, scary as shit. He got, like, a rooster neck and all that shit. Like, he's... I'm gonna be honest with you. Donald Trump... I know he's a racist. He is a racist. I wouldn't want to meet this man in real life because uh, I ain't messing with that. I hope he learned his lesson. Him going to jail. Him, like, doing some self-reflecting... And I hope he makes it. I, I just really hope he make us black people live better too. Like, you know, equal rights and all that stuff. But, you know, I don't care about no stuff like this, no politics or nothing. I'm just want to, like, you know, react to it and speak my mind about it. And that's, you know, what my content is about. But, yeah. Look, if we finally beat Medicare, Thank you, President uh, Biden. Just going back to Ukraine for one second. We have an ocean separating us. The European nations <laughs> together have spent a hundred billion or maybe more than that, less than us. Why doesn't he call them and say, you got to put up your money like I did with NATO? As far as Israel and, and Hamas, Israel's the one that wants to go. He said the only one that wants to keep going is Hamas. Actually, Israel is the one, and you should let him go and let him finish the job. He doesn't want to do it. He's become like a Palestinian, but they don't like him because he's a very bad Palestinian. He's a weak one. President Biden, you have a minute. I've never heard so much foolishness. This is a guy who wants to get out of NATO. Are you going to stay in NATO? He's going to pull out of NATO. The idea that we have our strength lies in our alliances as well. It may be a big ocean, but we've ever been able to avoid a war in, in Europe, a major war in Europe. What happens if, in fact, you have... This motherfucker started a war. I'm sorry, you started a war. No dumbass started it. He talking about avoid wars. He just started when you dumbass. Continue to go into, into NATO. 
We have an Article 5 agreement. Attack on one is attack on all. You want to start the nuclear war he keeps talking about, go ahead. Let Putin go in and control Ukraine and then move on to Poland and other places. We'll see what happens then. He has no idea what the hell he's talking about. After a jury convicted you of 34 felonies last month, you said if reelected, you would, quote, have every right to go after, unquote, your political opponents. You just talked about members of the select committee on January 6th going to jail. Your main political opponent is standing on stage with you tonight. Can you clarify exactly what it means about you feeling you have every right to go after your political opponents? Well, I said my retribution is going to be success. We're going to make this country successful again, because right now it's a failing nation. My retribution is going to be success. But when he talks about a convicted felon, his son is a convicted felon at a very high level. His son is convicted, going to be convicted probably numerous other times. Should have been convicted before, but his Justice Department let the statute of limitations lapse on the most important things. But he could be a convicted felon as soon as he gets out of office. Joe could be a convicted felon with all of the things that he's done. He's done horrible things. The idea that I did anything Low key, low key. Donald Trump got a fucking point. And I heard that he likes kids too. I heard he like I seen a, a clip where he was kissing a boy that wasn't his son. Like that's weird. Like he pulled a boy to the side and kissed him. I ain't even gonna talk about the uh, others. Like that's weird. That is very, 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 very weird. That is very disgusting. I'm sorry. That's that's way out of pocket and. Very disturbing. I don't mess with him. I don't mess with like people like. And I heard bad stuff about Donald Trump as well. Remember the first time that he got, you know, he was about to get elected. He was about to overtake, you know, Obama and all that. That he was uh, messing with a, a, you know, minor as well. I heard Donald Trump did that too, but they chose to play cover up. He probably covering that shit up too. But I forgot about that. Remember that? They they showed that. They talked about that before he became president. They was throwing any bad thing his way. There was resurfacing and everything. And it hurt. And it was, it was showing like a, a voice audio recording. How he said, have you seen a picture you know, with, with a lot of, like, you know, something like that. Like, it was Donald Trump's voice. Him giving money to the crime industry or whatever, that's that's disgusting. Like that ain't no why would you be what is what's the point of you being there? Like why are you here? Like you doing all that weird shit. Like they both like I'm not on nobody's side. I don't care about none of this. I just wanna react to it because it's funny, them cussing each other out, two old geezers, two mindless old geezers just Going at it, that's really it. I don't care about what they think they can do because they can't control nobody. Nobody is God, you know. Nobody can play God. No one can control nobody. So wrong relative to what you're talking about is outrageous. <coughs> it's simply a lie. Number one. Number two. The idea that you have a right to seek retribution against any American just because you're president is wrong. It's simply wrong. No president's ever spoken like that before. No president in our history has spoken like that before. Number three, the crimes that you are still charged with, and think of all the civil penalties you have. How many billions of dollars do you owe in civil penalties? President Biden, mm. you would be 86 at the end of your second term. How do you address concerns? She low-key kind of fine. I ain't saying she bad, because that's not how I talk. She low-key little fine. She's obviously 40-something years old. God damn. Hey, these fine white bitches can get it too. I'm sorry. These fine fe white females can get it. Well, five females that look like this right here. They look good. Oh my God. She look fine. And hey, I'm a grown man, so I can talk like this about grown women. She's like 40 something years old, but she look good. About so. your capability to handle the toughest job in the world well into your 80s. Well, first of all, I spent half my career being being criticized as being the youngest person in politics. I was the second youngest person ever elected to the United States Senate, and now I'm the oldest. This guy's three years younger and a lot less competent. I think that just look at the record. Look at what I've done. Look how I've turned around the horrible situation he left me. As I said, 15 million new jobs, 800,000 manufacturing jobs, more investment in America 
over million, billions of dollars in private investment in, uh, in, in enterprises that we are growing. Former President Trump, to follow up, you would be 82 at the end of your second term. What do you say to voters who have concerns about your capabilities to serve? Well, I took two tests, cognitive tests. I aced them, both of them, as you know. It's, we made it public. He took none. I'd like to see him take one, just one, a real easy one. Like, go through the first five questions. He couldn't do it. <laughs> he said, go through the first five questions. He disrespect this man so bad. He's called this man retarded. He's called this man stupid, bro. He said, go through the go through the first five questions. At least take an easy tip. That is disrespectful. I'm sorry, bro. Donald Trump is a savage, bro. He's a cold-blooded killer. I'm sorry, bro. He, he will talk out of his ass. Like, the dude, I'm sorry. The dude's a roasted, bro. He's kind of like me in a way. It's kind of like me in a call, like in Call of Duty lobbies, except you know I'm I'm black, obviously, and I talk my shit too. I I really am toxic like that. But Donald Trump's is a cold blooded savage, bro. And, and and being a president, oh my god, nobody talked like this man. Nobody ran this. No one ran this country like this man. Nobody did nothing. Like, no one ran, like, I'm sorry, like, no one talked this way like him. No one ever spoke like him. He's the first white president that ever talked like this. I'm, I'm going to be real with you. He's the first one that disrespects people. He don't give a shit. I respect his mentality, though. That's one thing I can respect about Donald Trump, his determination to win. His mentality to win, him staying consistent. He went low. He went through the ringer. He been locked up. <laughs> he been disrespected. He been low. He canceled. And yeah, he's back with revenge. And he's still on that stage. Still, you know, fighting. I, I respect that mentality. Of, I, I I can't hate that. I can, even though I don't like him at all. I don't. I don't respect him as a man. I don't know if those. Rumors that I mentioned earlier were, were true, but if they were, I don't mess with that man. I really don't, because those are horrible, disgusting allegations. But anyways, uh, I can say, I will say that I respect his mentality, his determination to win. I respect that about him. took physical exams every year, and, you know, we knock on wood wherever we may have wood, that I'm in very good health. I just won two club championships, not even senior two regular club championships. To do that, you have to be quite smart and you have to be able to hit the ball a long way. And I do it. He doesn't do it. He can't hit a ball 50 yards. He challenged me to a golf match. He can't hit a ball 50 yards. Uh, I think I'm in very good shape. I feel that I'm as in good a shape as I was 25, 30 years ago. Actually, I'm probably a little bit lighter, but I'm in as good a shape as I was uh, years ago, I feel very good. I feel the same. But I took, I was willing to take a cognitive test. And you know what? If I didn't do well, I aced him. Dr. Ronnie Jackson, who's a great guy when he was White House doctor. And then I took another one, a similar one. And both, one of them said they'd never seen anybody ace him. Thank you. President Biden. You can see he is six foot five and only 223 pounds, or 235 pounds. Well, you said six four, 200. Well, anyway, that's what you're, anyway, just take a look at what he says he is and take a look at what he is. Look, I'd be happy to have a driving contest with him. The re I got my handicap, which when I was vice president. I don't know if you want to have a driving contest. I mean, I, I, you might just crash that bitch. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. You might just crash that bitch. You might just crash that bitch. So you might have to stop that. Uh, and but by the way, I told you before, I'm happy to play golf if you carry your own bag. Think you can do it? That's the biggest lie that he's a six handicap of all. I was an eight handicap. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. But I have, you know how many? How, I've seen your swing. I I, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. This is not the one that I see, that, that I seen that when it was like insulting each other as much. But it was low key a, a, a good video, but, uh, I might upload this one. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. President Biden, you...
No. In our health care system. Thank you. It's horrible. Will you pledge tonight that once all legal challenges have been exhausted, that you will accept the results of this election, regardless of who wins, and you will say right now that political violence in any form is unacceptable. Well, I shouldn't have to say that, but of course I believe that. It's totally unacceptable. And if you would see my statements that I made on Twitter at the time. Slight laughing at it. And also my statement. Donald Trump and Biden roast each other. But I took two cognitive tests. I took physical. I'm a golden boy this year. My name is Fred Curley, and I could be in the hundred. The idea that I did anything wrong relative to what you're talking about is outrageous. It's simply a lie, number one. Number two, the idea that you have a right to seek retribution against any American. Avoiding getting an STD, his own personal Vietnam, it's what he wanted. Do not sleep on the significance of that answer right there. Style aside, this is. But I took two cognitive tests. I took physical exams every year. And hit a ball 50 yards. Uh, I think I'm in very good shape. I feel that I'm as in good a shape as I was. 25, 30 years ago. Actually, I'm probably a little bit lighter, but I'm in as good a shape. Right here in Atlanta. And his ability to keep focus tonight at times, the president seemed to lose his train of thought, including in his answer early in the debate to a question about the economy. We'd be able to right wipe out his debt. We'd be able to help make sure that all those things we need to do, child care, elder care. My son was not a loser. My son. So another two face reacts. Finally found the video when they roasting each other, like, you know, I don't care about no, like, really no debate if they gonna run the shit right. Well, obviously, you know, that dumbass motherfucker that can't talk halfway straight, fucking our shit up. And we got another one over here, want to run his mouth a lot, but hey, we gonna get into this reaction. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Donald Trump, Biden highlights from the CNN president debate. Let's get into this reaction. Video. My son was not a loser, was not a sucker. You're the sucker. You're the loser. Every single thing he shit, said. Guys, hey, shit, guys. Feelings hurt already. I don't know what he said, but hey, he Every single one. This man is a criminal. This man, you're lucky. You're lucky for for molesting a woman in public. Ooh. Oh, God. That is that. Oh, that. Oh, disrespect. Wait, bud, and you, you can't be talking about that. You cannot be talking about that. Was you kissing that little boy? Like that clip, um, it was on like TikTok, and no wonder he want that shit, man, because he know he got shit that's got dirt on him on there. So you know you cannot be talking about that part because you you may you better make sure you check yourself before you call somebody else out. But yeah, Donald Trump, Loki is just like just as bad. Like I'm sorry, these people don't need to even do nothing. We're doing a whole range of things of having mm. sex with a porn star. I didn't have. I heard about that too. Heard about that. With the point, sir. Number one, we had a very uh, terrible judge, a horrible judge, Democrat, 
the prosecutor were all high-ranking Democrats, appointed people. I mean, I, what I'm going to do is fix the tax system. For example, we have a thousand trillionaires in America. I mean, billionaires in America. And what's happening? They're in a situation where they, in fact, pay 8.2 percent in taxes. I'm not just about no freaking bill, and they're like talking about taxes, man. Like you, you ain't even worried about the people that's actually working their ass off just to make ends meet. I ain't trying to hear that you no know, billionaire we're working on trying to stop. Like, what are you talking about? They can pay taxes, no problem. They multi y'all multi million billionaires. Like, what you crying about taxes for? I know y'all not complaining. If they just paid twenty four percent, twenty five percent, they'd raise five hundred million dollars billion dollars, I should say, in a 10 year period. We'd be able to right wipe out his debt. We'd be able to help make sure that all those things we need to do, child care, elder care, making sure that we continue to strengthen our health care system, making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. Thank you, President uh, Biden. President Trump? Well, he's right. He did beat Medicare. He beat it to death. And he's destroying Medicare because all of these people are coming in. They're putting them on Medicare. They're putting them on Social Security. They're going to destroy Social Security. This man is going to single-handedly destroy Social Security. These millions and millions of people coming in, they're trying to put them on Social Security. 51 years ago, you had Roe v. Wade, and everybody wanted to get it back to the states, everybody, without exception, Democrats, Republicans, liberals, conservatives. He can take the life of the baby in the ninth month and even after birth, because some states, Democrat-run, take it after birth. Again, the governor, former governor of Virginia, put the baby down, then we decide what to do with it. So he's, in, he's willing to, as we say, rip the baby out of the womb in the ninth month and kill that's it. That is so sick. That is so sick. That is so sick. That is sick. No. Nah. Kill the baby. Nobody wants that to happen. Democrat or Republican. Nobody wants it to happen. You're lying. That is simply not true. That Roe v. Wade does not provide for that. That's not the circumstance. Only a woman's life is in danger. She's going to die. That's the only circumstance in which that can happen. But we are not for late-term abortion, period. 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 We're in a state... Where in six weeks, you don't even know whether you're pregnant or not, but you cannot see a doctor have your, and have him decide on what your circumstances are. What's happened to our country in the last four years is not to be believed. Foreign countries, I'm friends with a lot of people, they cannot believe what happened to the United States of America. We're no longer respected. They, they don't like us. We give them everything they want, and they, they think we're stupid. They think we're very well, I mean, I'm going to be real with you. You are stupid. I mean, people in this, I mean, in this country is stupid. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. Like, a lot of y'all are stupid. He's starting, like, trouble with other people. Taking things that don't belong to you. You think certain things is only yours and nobody else's. And you wonder why wars break out. I'm just saying. You can't just go around and, and, and just do that you can't just go around claim certain things are yours and not for everybody like i just wish people can help everybody out in like race wars and any type of like discrimination you know in like world hunger at least try to and get people off the street make more jobs for everybody that can actually make a a decent living so they can live pay a mortgage a house or rent whatever like Make it easy for everybody like, to actually help people, not just out for money grab, you know? People. What we're doing for other countries, and they do nothing for us, what this man has done is absolutely criminal. Veterans are a hell of a lot better off since I passed the PACT Act. One million of them. No, fuck, oh, fuck, we ain't better off. Yo, dumbass, I know your ass ain't lying about that. Ugly old they now have insurance and their families have it. Their families have it because what happened whether it was Agent Orange or Burn Pits, they're all being covered now. And he opposed, his group opposed that. We're also in a situation where we have great respect for veterans. My, spent, my son spent a year in Iraq, living one next to one of those burn pits, came back with stage four glioblastoma. I was recently in, in, in uh, France for D-Day, 
and I spoke all about those heroes that died. I went to the World War II cemetery, World War I cemetery he refused to go to. He was standing with his four-star general, and he told me, he said, I don't want to go in there because they're a bunch of losers and suckers. My son was not a loser, was not a sucker. You're the sucker. You're the loser. To think that I would, in front of generals and others, say suckers and losers. We have 19 people that said it was never said by me. He made up the suckers and losers story. He should apologize to me right now. Four-star general standing to your side was on your staff who said you said it, period. That's number one. And number two, the idea, the idea that I have to apologize to you for anything along the line. We've done more for veterans than any president has in American history. Do you ever hear any president say that I thought Hitler had some good ideas? What got me involved to run the first place after my son had died, I decided in Iraq, because of Iraq, I said I wasn't going to run again until I saw what happened in Charlottesville, Virginia. People coming out of the woods carrying swastikas on torches, torches, and, and singing the same anti-Semitic bile they sang when back in Germany. He didn't run because of Charlottesville. He ran because it was his last chance. It, it, he's not equipped to be president. You know it, and I know it. It's ridiculous. We have a debate. We're trying to justify his presidency. His presidency is, he's, without question, the worst president, the worst presidency in the history of our country. I ran because I was worried a guy like this guy could get elected. If he thought they were good people coming out of that, all, that forest, carrying those, those woods, carrying those torches, then he didn't deserve to be president. Yes, I catch you guys on the next one.